Hey kiddos, it's me, Mr. Brobiak. I am not here today, not sick, not down with the crazy zombie flu that's going around through everybody right now. I am on a field trip with my youngest daughter to BizTown, the one that most of you probably remember doing when you were in fifth grade and the parents got to come with you and work the different things. Well, that's the thing I'm getting to do right now. So I am gone for today. I apologize, but we still have things to get a chance to do. You are going to want to have your Magic Lens notes because many of you are going to be taking that quiz here shortly to try and help you out with that. If you don't have your notes, then that's fine with me. You will just won't be able to use them. They're probably in your notebook if you want. If you need to go get them, then you're more than welcome to talk to the sub and use points, and they'll write your name down and let me know who it was, and you're welcome to go from there. Or go without the notes and use your own brain. On the quiz, you're also more than welcome to use your previous quiz if you would like to. That is also fine with me. You may not use other people. If you use other people or converse about the answers, then you will be out of luck, and and it will not count, and you'll have to redo it. You'll also have time today to work on your book report, so hopefully you have your book report sheets uh, to be able to work on with those, and then your iPad that you can use for either taking the quiz or the book report. Either one is absolutely fine, but you're going to want to have that for your time while you're working. Narrative speeches will finish out next week. We'll get a chance to do this at some point. I'm not sure if it's Tuesday or Wednesday yet. We're going to have a day where we have to do the practice quiz for I-Step. So part of our time will be the practice quiz for I-Step, and then the other part of the time we'll be finishing out our narrative speeches. For my Honor Society kids, what we're going to be doing also... I will be back for Honor Society this afternoon, so since I'm going to BizTown, I will be able to come back and be able to do that, so I'll be back around 3 o'clock. If you have questions, you're more than welcome to send them to me on Remind, and I will have access to that while I'm helping the kids at BizTown today, but as far as Honor Society goes, I will be back around 3 o'clock, maybe around 2.30 or so, so I can answer any questions. I'll be here for all those activities. As far as the tie game goes, the answer was Valentine's Day, or love or hearts. Uh, many of those kids were able to get answers. Go you if you put your guests in this week. Didn't even try to make it difficult since it was a holiday. Figured many of you would be able to get this one, but apparently I was wrong. And ironically, the only day that kids got no points was actually on Valentine's Day. On Wednesday was the only day no one guessed. But I did have people get it on at least Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. When you take the quiz for grammar today, you're going to be doing it on Socrative. So you'll see it up here, and I'll put it on the final screen so you can see it also. So we're going to be doing a Socrative quiz. We are going to be going on to it. It's going to have 14 questions, and then with those questions, you're going to have seven options. Once again, for each of your choices, you're going to be using each one of them two times. And I've set up the quiz where you can jump around. You don't have to go through them in order. You can jump around and do them in any order if you want, and that's absolutely fine. You should be good to go. The room name is going to be Kyvorb, same thing we've done before. Do make sure when you sign in, that you sign in with your last name and then your first name, because if you don't, then I might have to make you take it again, and my goal is hopefully for you guys to do well on this one. You are more than welcome to use your notes on this one. That is fine with me. You can use your past quiz to help you. That is also fine with me. You may not use other people. If I find out you do that, then that's where you're going to be out of luck. I want to see if you have the ability to do this one, and you can put your answers there. If you cannot take it and you're having issues, then that's fine. We'll have you fix it next week and we'll have you take it then so if you're not able to take it today then we'll just have you take it next week it'll just be a little bit tougher on you but it won't be the end of the world but once again socrative.com room name kyvorb sign in last name first name I know I keep saying this but since I've had kids lose these in the last couple days I figure it's worth saying again Take a picture of your book report squares now. Use your iPad. Do not forget to do it because as long as you have a picture of it, then we can use that to help grade it and it will make your life much, much easier. If you need new squares, you should be able to get them from the sub. They are going to be up on my desk. You're more than welcome to get one, not a stack, not more than one, but just one. If you need more than that, then see me. I'll be here at the end of the day, and I can give you more if need be. You're also welcome to my colored pencils and my art supplies to help you out. But for the most part, you probably should be reading for the most part today. 
And to remind you again, if you are creating digital pictures or just in general your pictures for the book reports, the more detail you are putting into it is going to be the better. If it is just a simple thing where all you did was put the cut and paste, you're not going to be doing very well, just the CD work. If you're wanting to be doing better, it's going to require more effort on your part where you've put all these different things into it and I can tell the fact that you've been doing work and trying to connect it to you as best you can. That's what I'm looking for from you. And I believe this will be our last checkpoint, the one today, the one that I'm not even going to be here to check. So after this, if you're wanting to do better, that's going to be up to you to do it on your own. So things for you to work on today to try and help you out. Uh, one, I am sorry that I'm not here to work on or check your book reports while you work on them today. I'll just have to take your word on it. If you did have enough to get extra credit today, let me know, and I can give you that extra credit. Send me a message, send me pictures, or bring them in on Tuesday, and I'm happy to give you that extra credit point if you want. Otherwise, then it's just going to be up to you to see what you can do as far as that goes. If you're not done with your project, work on your project. I would say it's probably the main thing to be doing today. And then from there, you're going to be reading your book report book, so you can get that done. You should be close to finish to finishing it by now. If not, you should be closed to finish. Uh, who wrote this? Cross it out. You should be close to finished by now uh, because it is due in a week and a half. So you're kind of running out of time on this one. But I would say work on your book report project. If you're wanting to turn it in early, which is certainly an option, you can. Uh, that is due next Friday. So you have one week to get it done if you're wanting the early points. If you're not wanting the early points and you're just wanting the normal points, it is still due in a week and a half. So you have all of next week and then two more days. So you're getting down to the very end of it. I know it seemed like you've had a long time leading up till now, but you are down to like your last 10 days before it comes due, the last week and a half. Also, you're going to need to make sure you take the grammar quiz. I recommend you take the grammar quiz first off, get that done out of the way. Some of you might end up needing to take a while as you go through there and check your answers. It will not tell you if your answers are correct. I'll do that when I go through and check them. But for the most part, you'll just do your best. Maybe use, use each answer twice to try and help you out from there. But once again, you'll go to Socrative.com. You'll use the room name Kyvorb. If you got a 28 or higher last time, and you should know that because I gave you your quiz back, and you'll know if you got the 28 or higher. You do not have to take this one. If you did not get the 28 or higher, then you are going to have to take this one, and then we'll have to see how well you do this time. Also, figured I'd give you guys a little wave goodbye since I won't be here, or for some of you it can be a little high five that you're more than welcome to give me. Um, and so I'll see you guys if you see me at the end of the day. I should be here in the hallways at the very end of the day for the Honor Society stuff, setting things up. Otherwise, I'll be here tonight. If you have questions over the weekend, let me know. We'll be finishing out the rest of our narrative speeches coming up early next week. And since I'm gone to BizTown, I figured I'd leave you a fun picture. And I went ahead and went for, I googled business unicorn. Because I figured business unicorn is a fun thing to google. And this was the picture that came up business unicorn. So I figure that's a great picture for us to end with, except I can make it slightly better because that guy is not the right face to have on the top. So I'm going to give you this one. There's the perfect one you're going to have for our business unicorn because that's as good as a picture is going to get. As much as I'd love to leave that picture up there as your inspiration, unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and put up one more screen because I'm going to leave it up so you can see this and the sub can go ahead and hit the pause button, make this a little bit easier on you guys so you can look up here anytime that you need to. If you need a bookmark, I have them up on my desk. You can get the post-it notes. If you need book report sheets, you can get that. If you need to go to your locker, you're more than welcome to do that. Talk to the sub. It is going to cost you the three points. I'll charge you those when, you, when I get back on Tuesday. If you make the poor choices today, it is going to come back to haunt you and it's going to end up costing you points, but hopefully it's a Friday. Make the good choices. This is your last time working on the book report. It is our final book report work day, so please make good use of it since it comes due in just over a week and a half. Good luck on the quiz. Good luck on the book report. Hope you guys do well, and I thank you very much. And now is the part where you can go ahead and hit the pause. They can go ahead and work. They should know the different things that they can do and start the quiz.